Okay, today we will start in standing position, I mean, in sitting position. And uh, it's just a different way to uh, do yoga. Let's sit in any position while keeping the spine straight. But we are going to do warm up with breathing exercise. So what we are going to do is inhale and extend our chest, the front body, all the way up. And then exhale quickly as you shrink your chest in, you round up your spine. So let's inhale through your nose and exhale quickly through your mouth. Let's inhale. So we are going to speed it up for 11 times. Okay. Now, we are going to do the same thing in terms of the breathing, but we are going to change um, the position of our body. So let's inhale as you raise your arms up, and we are going to exhale with your fist closed, and then upwards and bring your elbows backwards, and you're, you're going to bend forward. So let's inhale with your arms up, your um, palms out, your fingers open, and exhale. Inhale, quickly. So this is again, 11 times. Now, for the same, uh, the breathing, we are going to do the same way, but this time, 11 times, this time we're gonna lift your hips up. So if you can see, try to lift your hips up with the help of your hands down or hands on the side, or you, if you want, you don't need any help without your uh, putting your hands down. So let's inhale, go up, exhale. Now you can feel that your body is warming up through, we call it, uh, it's a different way to do bhastrika, but let's do the conventional way also. So we are going to just quickly inhale and exhale. So you don't need to move your body. So let's repeat it for 51 times. It's going to be a short breath and quick breath. Okay. 
Okay, now we are going to do a uh, similar exercise in different position. So what we will do is place your hands down, your knees down. So this is going to be uh, more of like we do Kapal Bhati. So we are going to bring your spine up as you breathe out. You are going to inhale as you bring your spine down, your chest up, your head up. So same way, we are going to exhale through your mouth, inhale through your nose. So let's do the same way, the way we did in sitting position. So let's inhale here, exhale here. Breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your mouth. So let's do that 11 times. Eleven times. Let's go backwards into child pose. Now let's go forward in cobra position. So let's repeat it a few times, five times. Go forward and go backwards. Back again, same way. We are going to bring your feet forward and you rest your body weight onto your hands and onto your hips. So let's bring your knees to your right and knees to your left. So this will stretch your lower back, your upper back, your feet slightly apart. Or you can do a different way. That means you can try your feet apart. You can try your feet in the middle. You can try your feet closed. So let's try your feet closed. So it's going to give slightly different stretch. And now try your feet apart. And then it, it will give you less stretch as compared to the previous one, but it will work on your lower back better. Okay. Now let's bring your one leg behind and let's keep the one in the front. Bring your right one behind. This knee, the right one, let's bring backwards. So which is parallel to your right hip. So right knee parallel to your right hip, left knee parallel to your left hip. And same way your feet also parallel to your knees. So let's bring your body forward here and backwards. Forward, backwards. And now let's bring your right knee up and down for five times. Bring it up, bring it down two. Three, four, and five. Now let's switch your legs. 
Bring your right one forward and left one backwards. And again, same way. Everything is at 90 degree. Your front knee, parallel to your front, your right shoulder, right hip, and same way the left one. And your feet also parallel to your knees at 90 degree. So let's bring your body forward, backwards. Forward. Five times. You may, if you like to have your other hand behind, you can put it backwards also. Or you can even put forward. Now let's bring your left knee up and down for five times. One, two, three. Four and five. Now let's bring your feet forward again. So let's bring, just cross your legs. Again, we are going to, since we, when we bend, we always should do the counter pose. You go forward with cross legs and then drop your hips down and your chest up. Let's go back oh, three times. Let's come forward. Your chest high, your hips down, shoulders down, neck extended. Let's go back. Let's go forward. So that's it different way to start your class. So you, you can always vary depending upon your day, depending upon your time, your mental condition, your emotional condition. Now let's put your feet forward and your left ankle onto your right thigh. And bring your front foot slightly, not very close to your hips but slightly away from your hips. Now bring your shoulders forward while keeping your chest up. So that will give a good stretch to your left hip. So you want to do it gently, depending on how your condition is of your hip. If it hurts, then you want to avoid it. If it is good, then you want to stretch it. And let's switch your legs. Place the right one onto your left hip. On the left thigh. And bring your chest forward, your shoulders forward. Hold it, keep on pushing your chest forward. Now let's bring your left leg forward and place your right ankle onto your left thigh. You can hold your foot in your left hand and push your right knee down and lift it up and push it down. Bring it up, bring it down, bring it up, bring it down. Let's do it. Uh, seven times, five, six, and seven. Let's switch your legs. So it's a gentle twist of your knee, and also it works on your hip joint. So let's hold your right left foot in your right hand, place it on the right thigh, and push your knee down. Bring it up, bring it down, up and down. Okay. Now in between, again, we're going to cross your legs 
And we are going to come forward again with your hands, your hips up, and then drop your hips down, your chest up. So it's a great stretch of your uh, thighs and the front thighs actually. And then let's also the lower back. It's a great exercise for your lower back. Let's go all the way back when bringing your head down and hips backwards. Let's come forward. Let's go backwards for five times. exact five times you can always do more or sometimes less now we are going to do similar exercise what we did last one let's extend your left leg forward and hold your right foot in your left hand and your knee in your right hand you want to bring it up bring it backwards downwards forward and upwards so like a, it's a whole rotation of your entire right hip joint. Three, four, and five. Let's switch your, the direction. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's do the same thing with your other leg. Extend your right leg, hold your left foot in your right hand and your knee in same hand. Bring it up, backwards, downward, forward. So that works on your hip joints, your knee, your ankle, your lower back. Switch it. So it's a passive movement. You're using your hands to move your high, not to use your high muscles to move. Okay, let's put, place your feet together, your soles together, and then roll side to side. You should feel your thigh joints better since they're warmed up. And before we go to the next one, Let's do the contrary pose. We are going to go onto your knees and onto your palms. Keep your feet flat. We are going to go forward into cobra. So that this is the, I mean, the stretching of your flexor muscles is done in different ways. We were doing before the knees apart, feet together. This one is in going back and forth from your child pose. Let's do this for five times. Now, did you go up or forward? Breathe in the bit in the middle and breathe out again when you go into cobra into child pose. Okay, right here, we are going to bring your right knee forward and then, then cross your legs. So bring your right knee in front of your left leg. And let's go backwards. And let's go forward. So you need to break, keep good space between your hands and your knees. Let's go backwards. Let's go forward. 
more time backwards and forwards. Now let's go back and this time make good space so you can sit all the way back. And hold out your feet. And you want to lean forward as far as you can go easily, comfortably. Back. You are going to switch your legs this time. Let's go back again onto your palms and knees. And the left knee forward and then cross the other side. Bring your hands forward. And let's go forward. And then backwards. Three times. And now let's go all the way back so you can sit down. Hold down to both feet and opposite hands and lean forward. And then come back again. You are going to go again onto your palms and onto your knees. So let's bring your left knee upwards. Just lift it up and then bring it back to your other knee. So we are going to repeat this one for five times. Lift it up, back to your knee. Two, three, four, and five. Let's do it with your right knee, lift it up, and then back to your other knee. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's go forward into Cobra. And then back into Chalkos. And let's come back again onto your palms and knees. This time you're gonna lift your knee high as your knee bent and then bring it forward. Lift it up, one, come forward. Two, forward. Three, forward. Four, and forward. So at the same time, when you bring your knee back and forth, when you bring, it, bring your knee forward, Round up your whole back, your chin down. When you bring your knee backwards, bring your chin up and uh, sink your chest, I mean your spine down. Let's bring it up and bring it forward. One, two, three, four, And five. Let's go to child pose. Give a break to your hands. And then come forward. All right, let's go onto your part uh, onto your forearms. 
and keep your knees in the position they are right now at 90 degree of your hips. Let's stretch your right knee. We're going to go into plank. So if you are not, bring it your other knee up, you can hold this position, uh, but bring your other knee downwards. So this is just for the beginners, you can do the plank on one leg, or otherwise you can just stretch your other knee also. So let's hold it for 20 seconds, one, two, you don't have to hold 20 seconds. If you like to come down in between, that's fine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's bring the knee forward, go into child pose, then come back. Let's do same plank, we call it high plank on your palms and on your feet. So if you are not able to do, lift your both knees up, so just one knee is fine. One knee off the floor, other knee slightly downwards. So you're gonna hold it like a slanted, other leg slanted, other thigh slanted. Or otherwise go up, you're gonna hold it for 20 seconds again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's make the child pose. And let's lie down on your back. So there are many ways you can do the bridge position. So let's try uh, in different ways. So first, you're going to keep your feet, balance your hips as width of your hips, but slightly forward. So let's bring your arms up as you inhale and your lip, your hips up. Go all the way up as far as you can and then breathe out as you bring your hips down and arms down. So let's repeat it two more times. Inhale and go up. Exhale, come down. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. So that was your position of your feet in the middle, let's bring your feet away from your hips, but slightly apart. So let's inhale, same way, it's the same movement. Inhale, bring your arms behind as you breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. One more time. Now let's bring your feet as far as your fingers can touch your heels. That's how far you want to bring your feet. Now let's keep your palms down. You're gonna lift your hips up. And you're going to hold this time right here. So while you're holding, let's bring your right leg up. And now hold it for one, two, three, 
four, and five. Let's stretch your legs. Lift your left one up. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's bring your knees down and knees to your chest and hold on to your shins. Lift your shoulders off the floor. Now here, bring your elbows to your knees. Let's stretch your knees. So legs forward, arms behind, and hold it for one, two, three, four, and five. Let's bring them again, your knees and elbows together, and stretch them again. Hold it for one, two, three, and four. Let's bring them together, stretch them. One, two, and three. Bring them together and stretch them. One and two. Bring them closer and stretch for one. And let's do five of these. One, two, three, four, and five. And let's go back to the bridge position. So put your feet now this time, same where they were before, as long as you can touch your back of your heels with your fingers, feet slightly apart, lift your hips up. And once your hips are up, let's bring your right leg up. Now here, bring your hips down and then up. One, two, three, and four. Let's switch your legs. Bring left one up, down, up. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's bring your knees down, come in your hips down, knees to your chest. Now let's bring your left leg up and keep your right one where it is. Keep your right knee bent, your arms apart. Now we will try to bring your left Toes to your right hand without moving your hands downwards. So keep your hands up parallel to your shoulders. Go to your right side and bring your left foot all the way towards your right hand. And let's go back. This time bring your bend your left leg, left knee, bring your right leg up, bring it all the way to your Left side. Let's go back up again. We are going to switch your legs again. Let's repeat it. To your right side, keep your head in the middle or even opposite side. Where's your left? Breathe out as you go to your sides. We're going to repeat it for five times on each side. So this is a great position for your whole back, upper back, lower back. Okay, now let's uh, bring your fingers. Don't interlock them, but keep your fingers apart behind your skull and your neck. Bring your shoulders and your upper back off the floor and your elbows apart and chin, don't bring it close to your chest, bring it upwards. So this is your position of your upper body. That means your, your uh, 
upper back is off the floor. Your fingers are just touching, not pressing uh, to your skull and your neck and your elbows are apart. Bring your knees to your chest. And we are going to kick forward with your legs. Bring to your chest, kick forward. It's a great exercise for your abs and for your knees. When you kick, this jerky movement is great for your knees. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do 10 more. 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, let's bring your arms along with your body. We are going to do a couple of more bridge positions. This time, bring your feet closed and your knees apart. Let's lift your hips up with keeping your knees apart and your feet closed. And once you're here, let's bring your knees closed and then apart, move your knees in and out. One, two, three, four, and five. All the bridge positions are great for your lower back. Let's do just the opposite of it. Your feet apart and knees closed this time. Lift your hips up, bring your knees apart, bring them together. One, two, three, four, and five. And we're gonna turn downwards. Again, onto your palms and onto your knees. Let's stretch your right leg. So you're, you're on your left knee, right foot, and both hands. Now let's bring your right foot over to your left side, cross your left leg. And now bring your whole upper body to look your right foot over to your left side. This is a great stretch of your Lower side back. Let's stretch your legs. Stretch your left one. Place it over to your right side. Bring your upper body to look at your right foot and left foot for 10 seconds. and then come back. Going to child pose. And then come back. So we did our knee going to your up on the side and the backwards. This time we're going to do the rotation. So let's bring your right, left knee to your left side up. Bring it backwards all the way back. And then forward, left, back, down, forward, three, four, and five. Let's do the same thing with your right one. Bring it forward, upwards, backwards, down, forward, one, Two, three, 
for L5. Let's go into child pose to give a break to your wrist. In the beginning, it's normal to get your wrist sore or hurt, but then if you keep on exercising, be gentle when they hurt, but eventually they will get strong. But always follow your body first. Instructions come later. So now this time we're going to do the reverse uh, exercise, the same movement. The, so this time, left knee forward, and then up to your side, forward, down, back up, one, two, make a big round of your knee. Three, four, and five. Let's do the same thing with your right one. Bring it back to your side, forward, middle one, two, three, four, and five. Let's go into child pose. Relax your wrist. I would like you to do the side plank. You already do it, but uh, for the beginners, what I would like you to do, go on your side. Let's stretch your upper leg. Keep your right knee down and lift your body up. So if you keep your right knee down or lower leg down, so then anyone should be able to do it slowly though. And if you want to lift your lower knee also, let's lift it up. So let's repeat, let's hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're going to do the same thing on your other side. So leave, just first turn over onto your left side. So you can do other way also. What I mean is you can keep your lower leg straight and upper leg bent. You can try this one also. So this is other way to do it. So your lower leg is straight, upper leg is bent. So let's hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, let's try the same one, side plank, on your in the high plank. So again, let's go on your side. So the easiest one is just hold this one. So your lower leg is down, upper leg is straight. And you can do your upper arm either straight up or over your head. So, or you can stretch both legs. Hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. In the beginning, even you can hold for a few seconds, five seconds, three seconds, or just one second, it starts giving you an idea what you want to do. Okay, so let's go to the other side. So this time, the beginners, you can, can try keeping your lower leg straight, upper knee bent. So see which one you are comfortable with. So let's go up. Let's hold it for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 
Let's go to child pose. Let's go forward. Upwards, I mean, and cobra. And now let's go into downwards dog. So let's go into your feet and your palms. Let's bring your one knee down. I mean, one heel down, other heel up. Repeat it a few times. It's a great stretch of your calves. And good calves means good knees. Let's bring your both heels down and hold it. Let's go forward into upwards dog. And then downward dog. And let's walk your hands towards your feet. And hold your hands in front of your toes. I mean, if you cannot keep your knees straight, you can bend. Or you can place like a blocks or something under your hands. So there are two different ways to do. I prefer to have a blocks under your hands so, and knees straight. Okay, let's bring your arms apart. We're going to stand up and bring your hands all the way up. Your arms all the way up. Look upwards towards your hands. Bring your arms apart. And let's bend forward. Place your hands down. And let's walk your hands forward. Into downward stock. Upward stock. And place your knees down. And let's go all the way down onto your abdomen. We're going to place your left palm down and right hand on top of your back of your left hand. And then chin on back of your hands. Let's make your feet flat. Inhale. And lift your right leg from your abdomen. Come down. Again, you're gonna hold, inhale and hold your breath in and bring your leg up. And then bring your leg down as you release your breath. We are going to repeat it again. Inhale, bring your right leg up. Down, left one up as you breathe in and hold your breath in. Exhale and come down. Let's extend your both arms forward. We're going to inhale, bring your feet slightly apart. And your hands also are going to be apart. Inhale, lift your whole body up, except your abdomen, which you cannot lift. Come down. So inhale again, hold your breath in, lift your body up. Exhale and come down. Let's place your hands outside of your chest and go into cobra. Then child pose. From here, downward stock. 
And now walk your feet forward towards your hands. Bring your arms apart and let's stand up. Bring your arms all the way up, stretch them up. Look towards your hands. Then let them come out. Okay, let's stand up. We are going to do the balancing pose on your first right foot and hold on to your left foot in your right hand. And lower your knee, left arm up. And let's stretch your feet. And then come down. Let's sit down. And let's stretch your left leg out. and see if you can reach down to your foot, your ankle, your calf, anywhere is good. Keep your spine straight, that is very important. Don't lean forward, so chest upwards. If you are able to hold your toes, pull them backwards towards you, right arm up, and let's lean towards your left side. And then let's go on the other side. Lean onto your right forearm, your left arm up, and then bring your chest upwards. And let's go back. You are going to switch your sides. Bring your right leg out. Reach down to your toes, left arm up, and lean towards your right foot, right leg. Let's go towards your left side. And again. Bring your chest upwards. And then come back. Okay, let's do Kapal Bhati. So we are going to do three rounds of Kapal Bhati. And let's do at least 100 each round of hundred and you you pump your breath out your air out from your abdomen so your more main concentration is on your lower part of your abdomen the below your navel the pelvic floor when you pump out breathe out use those muscles and when you reach to 100, breathe out completely and hold your breath out. And when you are not able to hold your breath out, inhale slowly and hold your breath in also. And then let it come out. So this is one round of your Kapal Bhati. So let's do that for three times, at least 100 each.
your hand. Three rounds, you want to do the alternate breathing. Inhale slowly to your left, and then pause inside. Then exhale slowly to your right, and then inhale to your right, and pause again inside. Then exhale to your left. Do it for seven times. Now let's chant Om for three times in three different pitches, the middle pitch, high, and the low pitch. Take a deep breath in and make it long Om. So last few moments, keep your lips closed, which you will recite M. And two thirds are going to be O. And one third is M.
Let's just put the arms together. Generate the heat. Place them on your eyes and gently move your palms away from your eyes. Thank you and Namaste. And Namaste. 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 <laughs> Okay, Ji, happy 